In the Bible, it says this. In Isaiah 60, verse 11, Your gates shall be open continually. What gates? What gates do you want God to open? Well, there are gates. This is an old term for something that opens and closes. It is talking about the blocks inside of you. These can be opened and they will be opened continually. And it goes on and it says, they shall not be shut. Oh, how we close our own good how we shut off our own potential by saying, well, I'm just not good enough, or I don't believe that God would, would come through for me. Well, today I ask you with me to welcome God's good into your life. Welcome it and accept it. Give thanks that God means for you to be strong and healthy and welcome healing and welcome strength into every cell of your physical body. Be careful and watch your gait. What is your mind telling you about this? Is it telling you that it's too late now? You're too old or, or that this can't possibly happen to you? I pray that your gate will be open continually and it shall not be shut to God's good. I pray that you freely and fully accept health as your divine birthright. Give thanks today that your highest good is being revealed in your life and the circumstances of your life. Welcome it and Know that you are heir to all the good through God and that it is the loving will of God to give you all good. God has endowed you with God's infinite wisdom and infinite resources and abilities. You open your mind and your life to receive the good that God means for you. You give thanks for the spiritual qualities of love, patience, and understanding that are yours through Christ. You welcome them. You don't shut the gate to it. You don't say, well, this can't happen to me because of, and whatever your mind dishes up in the moment, you lovingly welcome it. You express the Christ spirit in all that you think and you say and you do. The presence of Christ inspires and blesses your mind and your heart. You give thanks that the health, the prosperity, the harmony, the wisdom of God are yours and are coming to you right now. You welcome the good into your life. You know that all your gates are open by God. And even in your free will, even though you have the choice to close that gate, you no longer do it. You allow God to keep your gates open continually and know that they shall not be shut. You welcome all the God good into your life.